PR team. Today I am with Lucas, one of our personal trainers and fitness supervisors. And yes, we do have personal training. So Lucas, why don't you tell us a little bit about what we're doing today? Sure. So today what we're going to do is we're going to take you all through basically what a fitness um, assessment is going to look like if you're a personal training client that's coming to us for personal training. So first things first, you'd go to Room 100, you'd actually buy the sessions you want, you'd schedule a time to meet with the personal trainers themselves, and then you'd come down to this office and we'd take you through a full fitness assessment, which is basically just some general measurements. Uh, we'd take you through an in-body scan and then we would also do actual fitness tests before we get into actual training. All right, so before we move on to the in-body, um, what we just did with Lexi is we got her age, we took down her weight, um, her blood pressure, her resting heart rate, everything like that, and now we are moving on to the actual in-body itself. So what this is is it's basically a machine that's going to send electrical signals through your body to break down your body as a whole so you can kind of see your overall weight more than just a number on a scale. This will break down your muscle mass, your fat mass, how much water is in and, in and outside your cells, um, and everything like that, just to give you a better understanding of your weight. Lucas is going to explain to me what all of these numbers and sections mean, but also focusing on the main points of it. All right, so basically there's going to be five main sections that you'd kind of look at um, once you do this actual scan. So starting with body composition analysis, the main numbers people are probably going to be really focused on is your dry lean mass. So that's basically how much lean mass you have on your body. That includes blood, bones, um, organs, tissues, stuff like that, everything that doesn't have fat on it. And then you have your body fat mass as well, and then it kind of breaks these down into categories that sum up your overall weight. Moving on, we got the muscle fat analysis. So this is basically muscle and fat breakdown on your body and what you're going to see with these arrows is below average, average and above average for the categories that it placed you in. Um, so you have for this one, the main one, everybody's going to be looking at is skeletal muscle mass. So that's how much muscle mass you actually have on your body. Then moving on to the ob obesity analysis, you have your BMI um, and your body fat percentage. That is what a lot of people want to look at as well as their body fat percentage. Um, the segmental lean analysis is basically a good way to detect any kind of imbalances that you may have have on your legs, um, arms, and you, you, it also breaks down your trunk as well. So you can kind of see in pounds how much each, each part of your body weighs. Um, and then the bottom one here is just based on hydration levels. All right, so moving on to the right part of the sheet, um, starting with the top, the body fat lean body mass control is basically what they would recommend you do, um, how much you should lose body fat wise and how much you should gain lean body mass wise um, to kind of even out and be in a good spot. Moving on to the segmental fat analysis, that's going to be the similar to the segmental lean analysis, but instead of looking at lean tissue on your um, body parts, this is basically going to look at fat on your body parts. So where you're storing most of your fat, most people that's going to be in the trunk, so that's common to see that have the most out of everybody with everybody. Um, and then the basal metabolic rate, this is cool because not only does this, this scanner break down your actual body composition, um, but it also gives you an idea of how many calories you should be consuming based on if you did nothing. So if you just sat in a chair all day and that's all you did, this is how many calories you can consume um, just to maintain where you're at, but then you have to factor in activity level based on how active you are, the calories will increase. So is it saying that I can do 125, 45 calories a day? Is that what it's saying? So it's saying if you wanted to maintain exactly where you're at right now and you yeah. did no activity at all, you just sat in a chair all day, okay. that's how many calories you need to consume to stay right where you're at right now. Cool. Okay. Okay. So then what is all this stuff underneath of that? So then the visceral fat level, that's going to be how much fat is in and around your organs. And then everything below this is kind of just breaking down what each one of these means uh, okay. just to help you understand a little more.
our next steps? So once we finish the actual assessment itself, at the end of it, we will go over your goals. We'll set two, two short-term and two long-term goals. And then after that, we'll kind of talk about your actual training and what you want that to look like and how many days a week we'll meet, everything like that. Perfect. All right. Well, working with Lucas has been a dream. He's been so nice. He has taken all of my silly questions about anything about fitness and whatnot. Uh, Lucas, any last words? Sure. So if I just had one thing I'd say to everybody, if you're interested in personal training, um, just know that we have four great trainers that are willing to help anybody. Um, and we know we all started somewhere, right? Everybody starts their fitness journey somewhere. And I think that we all know what that feels like. And we all will do our best to make you feel as comfortable as possible, um, no matter how, how experienced you are with fitness. All right. Well, Warhawks, we will see you next time. Lucas, I will see you at my workout. Sounds good.